Okay, I'm just going to read what's on the little brochure about these stops. This Basically this area here, which I photographed extensively, was Grant's last line. The artillery along this ridge marks the final position of Grant's line on April 6th. From this front, the Federals launched their counterattack on April 7th. So basically, uh, the Confederates, first day of the battle, the Confederates had the upper hand and pushed Grant's forces all the way back up here. But this is where his line held on top of this ridge, right up here. Let's see, we're on top of a hill. This is right where the park headquarters is at. And uh, there are a, lot, a bunch of monuments here from the different states. Iowa being most impressive. This is Wallace's headquarters. But anyway, this is the Southerners didn't get past this hill. Then on the second day, they lost the Union Army lost a counterattack. Now we'll go to number two. Yeah, we're going down this road here to uh, stop number two, which is a Confederate monument. You know, I don't care if the descendants of the Confederate Army want to fly the Confederate flag, that's fine with me. They can commemorate it. The flag uh, stands for all their men who died here. I don't have a problem with that. They chose a lost cause, but it uh, doesn't mean there are any less Americans or heroes or anything just because they took up with a, a lost cause. I think people are just getting too politically correct about everything. Nothing wrong with the Confederate flag. Just an unfortunate period of history. It's. Uh, behind us and we're a stronger nation because of it. Michigan there. It's still a union. I mean, it has a Confederate one yet. Uh, here's a Confederate marker here. Let's see. Trabe's Brigade, Army of Mississippi. Can't really read that. Not walking, not walking. Okay, here's tour stop two. Yeah, I'll walk around here a little bit. Okay, over here is the Confederate Memorial. This area off the left side of the road here is part of that area they call the hornet's nest. That's where some of the 
bloodiest fighting happened and where some of the Union troops got captured. signs around here all over the place telling where people were when and let's see what this is and for our wallets again someone tells you what this is a lot of markers for wallets Yeah, it's probably just uh, monuments to home states to uh, famous people. This one's to Wallace. Briar Creek. Tour stop three. Let me read about it. Another monument from Iowa. There's a lot of monuments here for different things. Uh, let's read about number three. Okay, number three, Duncan Field, Union troops defended this position for seven hours on April 6th, that's the first day, before finally giving ground. They retook it, counterattacked the next day. Okay, so they fought here, basically a high hill, but they uh, finally had to give ground. On the first day of the battle, they were just overwhelmed by the Confederates. So there are a lot of monuments running around here, I'm gonna go. See what some of them are. 